kids, this is your friend and guide Archer and today we are going to take up chapter number 14 of your English series by Heaven Publishing House. This is RT series for class 8, right? And we are beginning with chapter number 14 today that is Granny Tree Sunday. Right? It's a very, very lovely poem. Are you all ready to start with this? Let's begin. So, first of all, children, which of the following tasks do you associate with your grandmother? Do you associate cooking? Does your grandmother cook for you? Knitting? Does she do knitting? Sewing? She prepares pickles for you or she climbs trees? Does your grandma climbs trees? So, which of these tasks do you associate with your grandma? So, pick against them. Now, have you ever climbed a tree? You children, have you ever tried climbing up a tree? Did you find the task easy and enjoyable or difficult? How, if you have climbed the tree, how did you find the task? Discuss with your friends some risks involved in climbing trees. Now, you have to go and discuss with your friends what are the risks that are involved in climbing the tree. Now, do you know what a treetop house is? This is a house that is built on the top of a tree. Discuss with your friends how different living in a treetop house would be from living in an ordinary house. So go and discuss all these facts with your friends, right? Okay, so this poem, children, is written by Ruskin Bond. And here he summarizes the poet's grandmother's love of finding trees. So here he is describing about the grandmother, about his grandmother who loved finding the tree. The poet calls his grandma a genius, right? He calls him a genius as she could climb trees since a very young age. She was a very small child when she learned to climb the tree. And her passion of climbing the tree continued till the ripe old age of 62. And yes, she continued to climb these trees till the age of 62 years, right? She was always happier in a tree than in a yes, She used to be so happy climbing up the tree and sitting there that she was so happy there as then she would have been in a yes, right. Now, let's get started with the poem, children. My grandmother was a genius. Would like to know why? Because she could climb trees, spreading or high. So the poet here is saying that his grandmother, she was a genius. Why? Because she knew. She knew how to climb these trees, however tall or however spreading or big they might be. She could climb every tree. Right. She would be up in their branches in a trice, very quickly, just in a moment, she would be up in the tree. And mind you, when last she climbed the tree, she was 62. She's saying that till the age of 62, his grandmother could climb the tree just like this, very quickly, just in a trice, in a moment. Ever since childhood, they've had this gift. So being happier in a tree than in a lift. So the poet further explained that his grandmother had known she had this gift of climbing the tree since she was very, very young. And she used to be very happy in the tree than she would be in a lift. Living on a tree was what she loved the most. Right. And though as years went by, she would be told, old should be gone about this thing. And though the poet is, as she continued with her age, she kept on climbing these trees, she would be told, people would come and tell her that old should be gone about this thing, that the elder people of her age should be 
carrying out their uh, duties very very gracefully they should not be climbing the trees at this age right they would laugh and say well i'll grow old this gracefully he said that if other people they think that way then i am happy growing old this gracefully right i do what i feel like and these people if they think that i am this graceful then so be it right i can do it better and he had to agree he further says that they all know that i am a much better climber than they are i can climb trees better while they they do they cannot do that for in all the garden there was a tree for she knew that all these people who were telling her that she could not she should not be climbing the trees they did not even have a tree in their garden so they had no right to tell her how or whether she should climb a tree or not right she had been up at one time on an or another having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six so she learned to climb the tree when she was only 6 years old and her brother was the one who taught her how to climb the tree but it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall but everyone was fearful everyone was afraid that one day she would fall and hurt herself everyone was afraid that she would get hurt the outcome was different while we were in town now the poet says that however she never fell from the tree the outcome was quite different from what we had thought there was this one time when all the family members they were in town and she climbed a tree and from down down so he says that grandma she climbed the tree when we were in town but she could not come down she didn't fall from the tree she did not fell but she could not come down right we went to the rescue and then the doctor took granny's temperature and said so then she was rescued from the tree she was helped to come down from the tree the doctor was called to check her and he took granny's temperature and said i strongly recommend a quiet sleep in bed so when he checked his temperature she had fever and he advised them that granny should rest for at least a week she should not go out of the house for one for entire week we sighed with relief and took her up well so we were we sighed in relief why did the poet and his family sigh in relief so that so because nanny the granny she was advised to stay in bed for one week and now she won't come outside and try climbing the tree because they were all afraid for her safety right so poor granny for her it was like a brief season in hell so this one week it was like a brief season in hell that means it was like a punishment for her to stay confined in her room for full one week confined to her bedroom while every bee whispered of summer and dancing leaves she could not stay confined in the room all these dancing leaves and the summer beautiful summer it was beckoning her it was calling her outside and she was feeling like it was a punishment to stay inside her bedroom for the entire week but she held her peace till she felt stronger so she kept quiet and the moment she felt a little bit better right she felt stronger she sat up and sat up and she said i lie here no longer she she got up and said that i am not going to rest any more i'm not going to lie here any longer and she called for my father and told him i'm gone she was not afraid right unfearful very bravely she called for his father and told him that a house in a tree top was what she now wanted she said that now i want to live on a tree house right that is what makes me happy to say that if 
ease of living in a tree house on a tree top is what I want. That is what is going to make me happy. So, what did poet dad do? My dad knew his duty. He said, that's all right. You have what you want there. I'll start work tonight. So, his father, poet's father, he was so dutiful. He knew his duties and he told her that you will get what you want and I will start working right away. I will start working tonight itself. So he started building a beautiful tree house for her, for his mother. With my expert assistance, he soon finished the course. He soon finished the task of building the tree house with poet's expert assistance. He used to assist his father and guide his father. Made her a tree house with windows and her door. So the poet's father, he made a beautiful tree house for her, which even had a door and windows. So granny moved up and now every day I climb to her room with glasses and a so Granny very happily moved to her tree house. She loved spending time on the tree and now her dream was fulfilled. She wanted to live on the tree house and her son had made one for her. Now she used to live on the tree house only and the poet he says that I climb to her room with glasses and a tray. So every day poet used to climb up to the tree house and he used to carry a tray and glasses. He sits there in his cage and drinks very well. He sits there upright and he used to drink sherry, right? He used to drink sherry. Sherry is a kind of a wine made from grapes, right? He used to, so she used to drink sherry with the poet, upholding her right to reside in a tree. She was very, very strong and she still supported her decision of living in a tree, of residing in a tree. Right? So, this was a poem that was written by Ruskin Bond. I hope it is clear to you. Understood, kids? Good. So, moral grandparents are always very dear to grandchildren. What all do you do to spend quality time with your grandparents' children? What all do you do to spend some great time with your grandparents? They always want to spend time with you. They give you so much love and care and the least you can do in return for them is spend time, give them love and respect in return. Right? So, on the basis of your understanding of the poem children, Answer the following questions in one word or a phrase, right? So, let's begin. Number one, at what age did Granny learn climbing trees? So, it was at the age of, correct, it was, she was six years old when she learned how to climb the tree. Number two, who taught her the art of climbing trees? Exactly, children, it was her elder brother. He taught her how to Climb the tree. Number three, how old was she when she last climbed the tree? So she was 62. Yes, the age of 62, she used to climb the tree. In which season did she get trapped in a tree? It was summer season, right? Number five, for how long was she advised to take rest after being rescued? For about a week. Right. Number six, who made a tree top house for her? That is children. Very good. It was poet father. Right? Number seven, what things does the narrator carry to his granny's tree top house daily? So the narrator he used to carry a tray with glasses and they used to enjoy sherry together. Right? Clear to all of you? Let's know. Now, read the extracts given below and answer the questions that follow. Right. Number one, recite with relief and shut her up well. 
poor granny, for her it was like a brief season in health. Confined to her bedroom by every breeze, whispered of summer and dancing leaves. So, why did the narrator and his family sigh in relief? They were relieved because the doctor had advised Granny to rest for one week. And they were now relieved that she did not try climbing up the tree now. Right? They were afraid for her safety. Why was Granny confined to bed? Because she had caught fever when she was trapped in the tree, right? So she had caught fever when she was rescued. Why did she find it a brief season in hell? That one brief season, it felt like a brief season in hell as if it was a punishment that was given to her. She did not like staying indoors, being confined to her bedroom. She wanted to be out. She wanted to climb the tree in the beautiful summer and she wanted to enjoy that lovely breeze and those dancing trees. Right? She, how did she finally get rid of this season in hell? So when she felt better, she ordered her son. She told, she ordered, she told him that she wanted to live up in the tree on her tree house. So she told him to make a tree house for her. She wanted to spend her time there. Number two, but it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall. The outcome was defeat. Right? What did everyone fear? Everyone feared that she would have a fall someday and she would hurt herself while trying to climb the tree. Right? She, the outcome was different. What was this outcome? The outcome was that she did not fall from the tree but she could not come down. While everyone was away, she climbed the tree and she could not come down of the tree. How was it different from what everyone had expected? So everyone had expected that if Granny climbed the tree, she would fall. But it was different because she never had a fall. She never fell from the tree, but she just could not come down. What did this outcome lead to? So this outcome, it led to fever. See, when she was rescued, she was suffering from fever and she was confined to her bedroom for a week as advised by the doctor. Right? Clear? All these questions are clear, children? Good. So that was all for this lovely poem, children. I hope you had fun learning with your friends. I hope you had fun learning with your friend Archer. So, I'll see you guys with my next series soon. Till then, stay blessed and stay with the children. Bye.